welcome to Adam Home Cooking. Today we are preparing scotch egg. These are the ingredients for preparing scotch eggs. I have my free range eggs here. This is my breadcrumbs. I have my flour, my sausage meat. This is the sausage. My white pepper, mixed herb, and sunflower oil for deep frying. First of all, I'll start by boiling my egg. I'm going to boil four large eggs. This is six. I'm going to boil four. I'm going to put some boiling water, boiled water from the kettle into my cooking saucepan. And then I'll gently drop in my eggs. You need to be careful so you don't break, you don't crack it. Cover the egg halfway with the water. my four eggs which I drop in gently because I don't want it crack I cover it halfway with the water boiling water and then I cover it cook it for eight to ten minutes whilst it's cooking I'm going to prepare my sausage meat and the egg Remember, this is my breadcrumbs, this is my flour, and this is egg. I'm going to crack two eggs into my bowl. I'll set it aside, and this is my sausage meat. If you don't want to use sausage meat, you can also buy minced chicken from the shop or minced beef. I want to use sausage meat, so this is my sausage. What I'm going to do is I'll just take the skin of the sausage. I'll use my hand, okay, which is already washed. I'll take the skin of the sausage like that. So this is my pork sausage. Remember I said if you don't like pork, you can use minced chicken, minced chicken you can buy it from the sh any supermarket or minced beef. I'm using sausage, pork sausage. So I'm just going to season my pork sausage slightly with mixed herb. Or you can just use it just like that because it's been seasoned already. I'm using mixed herb and a bit of white pepper. All this has been the sausage meat has been seasoned already so I just mix it with the fine mix it with the next head and then I'll wait for the egg to cook remember we are cooking it for eight minutes not overcook now I think my egg is ready I boil it for eight minutes so I'm going to strain it and cover it again, fully cover it with cold water so I can take the shell off it. And I'm just going to cover my egg with cold water so that I can take the shell off. I cover it with cold water and I'm going to leave it for 5 minutes to cool before I take the shell off it. Now my egg is cool down so I'm just taking the shell off it so now my egg I'm taking the shell off what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cover the egg with my sausage meat my sausage meat
Yeah, using me is sticking on me is the affliction of sitting in the world. But you're quite with the salt and any spice of your choice. And covered with this is the same. Deep fry for about five to seven minutes, should be ready. Now, my scotch egg is ready. So, you take it off the oil from the oil and through a strainer for it to drain off. And you say, if it's not brown enough for you, leave it in the oil for a while to brown. Remember, the egg is already cooked. We are only cooking the sausage and the protein on it. I'll leave this one for extra one minute. Now the scotch egg is ready. It's looking lovely. I'm just going to cut this one through. Perfectly cooked. As you can see, my egg is not overcooked. Here we are. Now, our scotch egg is ready. You can serve it at a starter or have it on its own on your dinner with your dinner. 
enjoy